install with MTI equipment. Today we're going to be doing a little walk around with this 2018 Vermeer 100 by 140 Series 3 that's got just over 2,500 hours on it. So we'll start here with the cab. Uh, it's got the wireless remote for driving and for running some other functions. It's got the Aurora display in it, Digitrack Aurora. You can see the cab itself looks great. Um, the circuit board switches all work properly. We're going to drill with it and uh, go through it to make sure everything on it's ready to go to work. One option that this does not have is the crane, which a lot of people feel like is a good option because this machine's already so big and tall. Having that crane and the extra weight, a lot of guys don't want it because you typically, if you have a size machine like this, you're going to have an excavator on your job site. So it has no crane option. Steel tracks like all of them. Steel tracks look good on this one. Uh, I'll open up the engine compartment for you. It's got a 275 horsepower cat diesel. You can see it all looks good. It's a tier four final. And as we walk around to the back, it's got the Aplex easy service mud pump. This is a expensive option that everybody likes. This pump is arguably the best pump out there for a machine this size. So uh, you can see the physical size of it. It's a lot bigger than the Kerr option, but this is a pump that's touted to be very easy to change valves and cups and pistons and liners in the field because of the way it's two bolts that pulls this entire head off. So those two bolts, everything comes off and you can start working on the pump. So that's a big option that people love. Um, carriage box, we got to check and inspect all the wear slides, those Teflon slides that are underneath here and on the top. Make sure they've all got good meat left on them. But I don't see anything, there's no leaks coming from up top. Uh, everything looks original. The drive chuck, or the saver sub I should say, shows a little wear so we'll probably have to replace that. It's got 1000 series pipe like all of them do. Um, pipes in good shape, some of it's almost new actually. Uh, we've got the track on this side too. You can see a couple little spots for those of you that have these machines or you're looking at them. When they sit for any period of time, they get those little kinks in it. We'll do what we can to try to get that out. Uh, if we can't do it, the only way to fix that is to replace the actual chain that runs all around that sprocket and motor. Um, I think they're about $3,000 per side. And if you want them to be perfectly smooth, that's an option too. We can talk through if you're interested in the machine, just talk to us about it. We'll take care of you. Um, cosmetically, it looks great, as you can tell. It's one of the nicest Series 300s we've ever had. It's missing the uh, five-gallon grease bucket, so we got to put one of those on it. When we uh, service it, then we'll go test it in our test facility, drill with it. We'll find other things wrong with it that we don't know at the moment. Uh, auger system, or stake downs, I should say. Um, stake downs on these size machines usually people don't use. That's why they typically look like this. They look almost new. Typically people tie them down to an excavator uh, so that they don't have to use the augers because the augers just get bent when you tie them down. Uh, devices. Jaws look great. This vise is shut right now. That's why it's looking like it does, but jaws all look good. Um, we just need a test row with it and see what we can find wrong with it. Rack and pinion looks great. Shuttle arms all look good. A lot of meat left on the wear pads for the shuttle arms. So it looks like it's a pretty nice drill. If uh, you're interested in this drill or you want a sales guy to contact you, please feel free to reach out to us through email. You can call us and uh, we'll get you more information on this. As well as if you'd like to drill with this machine.